Tis two nights before Christmas, and all through the house, the faithful are cheering for another Bruin route. Five straight is the reason for this team's high acclaim. Great play from Martin, Tarver, Murray, and McLean. For Coach Jim Herrick, the most perfect Christmas gift would be another victory. That'd be number six. For the Fullerton Titans and Coach John Sneed, a Christmas wish for victory would be an upset indeed. Tonight, the Bruins and Titans are in good holiday spirit. Don't dare miss it. It's next on Prime Ticket. California, Prime Ticket presents exciting college basketball. Tonight, the UCLA Bruins host the Cal State Fullerton Titans. Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm Phil Stone. Well, UCLA is number two in the nation behind only the Blue Devils of Duke. Tonight, they look to knock off Cal State Fullerton. They have won convincingly thus far all season long, and quite frankly, tonight should be no different. Working with me this evening, is Paul Sunderland and Paul tonight Cal State Fullerton I suppose you would say has the unenviable task of trying to find some way to slow down these 12 Bears how do they do it well I'm not sure they can nobody else has so far and they might well be victim number six they've got the All-Americans at the forward positions Murray and McLean Rodney Zimmerman knows his role as do so many of the other Bruins and even with some injuries they've got tremendous depth off the bench and the guard play has been spectacular you know Cal State Fullerton they are three and three on the air and they've got a couple of pretty good players one guy's a very small guy his name is Joe Small and of course A.G. Ward. Joe Small one of the best jump shooters on the West Coast putting up big time numbers. A.G. Ward has got the big time body the big backside going to go in low and try to do some damage inside but it's been Bruce Bowen a very slight slashing kind of player who's gone from 10 points a game last year to 17 this year almost 10 rebounds but he gets most of his points in the paint offensive rebounding he has not faced a front line like the Bruins so far this year going to be a real surprise and challenge for him. You know Paul Jim Herrick has an interesting dilemma if you can call it a dilemma he doesn't have five or six outstanding guys who can start he's got seven or eight guys who I feel could start for any team in America well he's got a small pair of binoculars in his pocket when he wants to look down the bench to pull off one of those superstars but he's getting great starting production out of sophomore two guard Sean Tarver third leading scorer on the team right now his offensive production is way up his defensive abilities are really coming to the fore and Sean Tarver's a super athlete here from Ty Edney showing that he can finish off the breaker down along the baseline but he has really improved at his ball handling and look at him rise up and shoot the ball in the paint he has got an excellent touch last couple of games he's been scoring very very well Paul Cal State in the past six ball games all six games thus far this year they have had problems executing they have turned the ball over they have hardly any assist to speak of whatsoever how in the world do they compete against the second round Bruins or do they well we'll find out uh, certainly they have the athletic ability they must do three things. They must take care of the basketball. I think they must play zone and really pack it in. Hope the Bruins do not hurt them from the outside. And they have to be disciplined at the offensive end. All right. Tonight, we want to remind you one thing. Prime Ticket and Southwest Airlines have entered into a contest. We want to tell you about it right now. We want all of you right now to grab a pen and a piece of paper and write down this address. It is Southwest Airlines three-point contest in care of Prime Ticket, 10,000 Santa Monica Boulevard, Los Angeles, 90067. We want you to send your name in, and here's what will happen. If your name is selected, the first time a Bruin hits a three-pointer in our next game against Georgia, you are on your way with a friend anywhere Southwest Airline flies. Well, Paul, are you ready for this one? How's Cal State going to do it? I'm not sure they can. Derek Martin's back in the starting lineup. The Bruins are really going to try to run the ball. It's second-ranked UCLA and the Titans of Cal State Fullerton. We'll be back with the lineups and a tip in just a moment. To help fight the corrosive effects of salt and water, every Lexus features airbag terminals plated in gold. Of course, we might have used a less expensive material, but it wasn't money. 
we were interested in saving. Hills from Oceanside to Anaheim and Lancaster to Victorville, from Whittier to Bakersfield and Barstow back to Hollywood. Avis has a place near you in almost every neighborhood. Avis has over 75 Southern California locations featuring thousands of 1992 GM cars, plus free unlimited mileage, free pickup for most locations. But most important, Avis has those special low neighborhood rates. So next time you want a special deal, rent a car from your neighbor at Avis. Here's a great question for you. What is Super Lotto? Hey, I'd buy a ticket for that. Really? They changed it? I want to play. Can you imagine? Is that for real? It's worth a shot. Millions, millions, and millions. Well, why don't somebody tell me these things? The new Lotto, Super Lotto. Odds are, you're going to like it. I'm always the last to know. Prime Ticket presents UCLA Basketball, brought to you by Coors Light. The Silver Bullet is the right beer now. By your Southern California Lexus dealer, who invites you to test drive a Lexus today. By Avis. Avis features fine GM cars, like the Pontiac Grand Am. By Southwest Airlines. Remember what fares were like before Southwest Airlines? And by your Southern California Chevrolet and Geo dealers. We welcome you back to Poly Pavilion. The holiday season is in full swing here in Westwood, California. Just try getting up Westwood to Poly Pavilion after about 5 o'clock, <laughs> after about 3 o'clock today. Now let's go now to Don Sawyer for the official introductions. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Poly Pavilion for tonight's game featuring the Cal State Fullerton Titans and the UCLA Bruins. Now let's meet the starters for tonight's game. At forward for the Titans, a 6'6 senior from Los Angeles, California, number 33, A.G. Ward. At forward for the Bruins, a 6'10 senior from Simi Valley, California, number 42, Don McClain. At forward for the Titans, a 6'7 junior from Fresno, California, number 25, Bruce Bowen. At forward for the Bruins, a 6'8 junior from Glendora, California, number 30, Tracy Murray. At center for the Titans, a 6'9 senior from La Mesa, California, number 4, Kevin Osmus. At center for the Bruins, a 6'9 sophomore from Colorado Springs, Colorado, number 14, Rodney Zimmerman. At guard for the Titans, a 6'1 junior from Hampton, Virginia, number 13, Aaron Sunderland. At guard for the Bruins, a 6'5 sophomore from Oxnard, California, number 21, Sean Tarver. At guard for the Titans, a 6'2 senior from Westminster, California, number 3, Joe Small. At guard for the Bruins, a 5'11 and a half senior from Compton, California, number 15, Derek Martin. The head coach for the Titans, John Sneed. And the head coach for the Bruins, Jim Herrick. Both Jim Herrick and John Sneed in their fourth year as head coach at their respective institutions. Well, the trio of officials assigned to tonight's game, Bob Sethoff, Jim Stumpen, and John Edwards. Now these two teams, it'll be Ward Bowen for the Titans against McLean and Murray up front. The centers, Osmus and Zimmerman. The backcourt men, Small and Sunderland for Cal State Fullerton, Tarver and Derek Martin for the Bruins of UCLA. These two teams have met three times previously, all within the last six years, and UCLA has swept the victory all three times. So we are set to go. UCLA has yet to be severely tested 
this year. And there is Tracy Murray, a guy who you just can't say enough about. What a year as a sophomore back in 90-91, and he is off and flying. Well, he's also shooting the ball better than even, I think, Jim Herrick and the rest of the UCLA staff and fans thought he could. 61% from the floor, 59% from three-point shots, averaging 23 points a game, and really improved his defensive intensity and ability to score around the basket as well. Zimmerman and A.G. Ward will jump it up. Boy, Ward has the, the torso of Charles Barkley. Oh, what a load. Zimmerman's got about three and a half inches on him. Ruins. That's a miss care. jump. We'll throw it again. The Poly Pavilion floor tilted a little. That, that toss was about uh, out of the gold circle inside. Oh, that one wasn't much better. McLean. Surprise. Yeah, stayed out to a man to man already. And UCLA has beaten up man defenses. There's Murray. Not enough rebounded by Cal State. I think you're going to see man to man for the first couple of minutes to try to get Fullerton into the game mentally, and then they'll drop back into the zone. Goes e. Ward. He's averaging 19. He's got the first two points of the evening. You cannot let Don McLean catch the ball inside of 15 feet. That's his catch and shoot range. He just re has such a quick release. Run home. Well, talk about a quick release. Yeah. <laughs> right back at shot you. won't go. McLean clears. Martin against Sunderland. Tarver pass inside. Zimmerman was actually breaking for the sideline rather than the basket. Sean just winced as he threw it away. Well, two of my three keys, pack in the zone defense and run time off the clock. Fullerton has played, paid absolutely no attention to. Maybe they're in the Christmas spirit. I don't know. You want to win those? You got time. No, 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 no. If they play this way, they'll lose by 25. Owen shot one. Still being back batted around. It is off Kevin Osmuth's knee out of bounds. UCLA. Fullerton still in the man-to-man -man matchup. There's, oh, he's deadly from there. He'll miss that one. We've got a foul underneath. Away from the basketball. I think it's going to go against Kevin Asbas, the 6'9 senior. Not much of a foul inside. John Sneed's got to expect that on the road at Pauley Pavilion. Giving the referee an earful early. Gets a shoot. Good block and a good pick off by A.G. Ward. Sunderland to Ward. He's got it. Oh, Ward is still down. Face first. And uh, it's not a pretty sight. He hit his forehead or his nose. Great defensive play to start the break on Don McLean, and then Derek Martin coming back. Sunderland with the dish and then look at Derek Martin stepping in to take the charge and we don't quite see but you got to imagine that A.G. Ward might have landed right on his forehead. Oh. Now they're looking at his chin. He has apparently have lacerated his chin. I got an idea it's going to take more than a lacerated chin to keep A.G. Ward out of this game for very long. Yeah, the way he went down, and as big as he is, I'd say he came away very lucky. That's just a nick compared to what could have happened. Talked about him resembling uh, Charles Barkley in terms of stature, but I've never seen Barkley land on his chin. <laughs> he makes the other guy land on their chin. <laughs> Good point. Go into the basket hard, and that's an unfortunate one-point landing. 18-24 to play. We are just underway from Pauley Pavilion. Eric Martin across the timeline with Sunderland in his hip pocket out at Tarver. Murray. Nice good pass. pick to Zimmerman. They're going to get him for walking. I don't know whether the official made that call or Aaron Sunderland. So far, UCLA has run their offensive patterns well, gotten good shots. Fullerton should consider themselves quite lucky. Joe Small, good baseline jumper off the pick, rebounded by Cal State. Bowen tries to put it up, and he is fouled by Murray. 
That's Bruce Bowen's game. Just light as a feather, 6'7", 180, 185 pounds. Excellent jumper, a slasher, and is able to get to the offensive boards that time and create contact with Tracy Murray. The Bowen will go to the line. He's a 64% free throw shooter. He gives the Titans now a 5-2 advantage with less than three minutes gone here in the first half. Pretty good matchup here at the point. Aaron Sunderland, Derek Martin, both about the same size, same build. Very, very quick, can check each other. Martin wants McLean. He's being two-teamed. Instead, it comes to Zimmerman out to Martin. Murray takes the faint move to his right inside. It goes to McLean off the glass and scores. Oh, Don got away with a walk there. Aaron Sunderland with Martin in his face. Now to Bowen. Good baseline pass off the glass, not even close. First time Sean Williams has put the ball airborne. McLean spins, he's two teamed. Out it'll go to Martin. Now it's UCLA that's showing very good patience, something that Fullerton has to do at their end of the court. Oh, what a pass to Tarver, and he scores. How in the world did that ball get past Joe Small? Excellent look inside. Sean Tarver at 6'5", able to post up the smaller guards. And Derek Martin, as a non-starter, still up over five assists a game. Great steal. Martin stepped on the baseline. It'll be out of bounds to California State at Fullerton. Boy, Cal State Fullerton, normally you expect to lose players to graduation. Fullerton lost three-year point guard Wayne Williams. He's academically ineligible. Aaron Wilhite, their 6'7 center, transferred to North Carolina Charlotte. Pat Thacker, a 6'5 freshman, signed with the Toronto Blue Jays. He's playing baseball. Boy, what a, what a tough offseason it was for John Sneed. It's out of bounds. It'll go to Cal State. Here's John Sneed trying to build a program in the shadow of Long Beach State. UC Irvine, Pepperdine, UCLA, and now USC. You can't, you can't lose those quality players, and Wayne Williams has been starting point guard since he came in as a freshman at Emanuel Arts. That's a big loss. Asmus to Aaron Sunderland. Bowen shot blocked by Tracy Murray. That is Murray's 34th career block shot. And here comes A.G. Ward after uh, belly landing a couple of moments ago. Actually landed on his chin. He appears to be none the worse for the wear. Sunderland into the paint. Good dish off pass to Ward, taken away by Tarver. Sean spins, lays it up with the left hand, rolls around, won't go. Sunderland clears. Out it comes to Bruce Bowen. He's got McLean in front of him. Wants to go baseline. Don won't allow it. Ward, jump shot over Zimmerman, and what a shot, powerful shot. That's a great looking release. Over the taller Rodney Zimmerman, just one dribble up and over. McLean all alone, boy did he work off the pick beautifully. You cannot let Don McLean anywhere alone from 16, 17 feet in. Six points now for McLean. UCLA has eight. I still say Fullerton, if they want to stay in this game, is going to have to play some zone. They've Absolutely. been lucky so far. They, you, they, UCLA, can get that shot every time down. 15 feet uncontested. Sunderland banged on the arm by Tarver. That was a bad shot. He got bailed out there a little bit. The ball never got inside for the Titans of Cal State Fullerton. Never any real defensive uh, pressure uh, necessary from UCLA. Just a bad shot. He got bailed out on the foul. Cal State Fullerton coming in on the strength of two consecutive wins over Portland and Cal State Northridge. He's got the first one. Sunderland's a 6-1 junior. Another junior college find for John Steak from Oklahoma City. Two years ago, he led Connor State, J.C., to the national championship. He's got the basketball again. In fact, you know who he teamed with at Connor State? 
UNLV's Elmore Spencer. Not a bad junior college lineup. Oh, my. National championship team one year. Nice move. Move. Bowen. Follow. Oh, what a follow. Jim Kemp gets his first two. And the Titans are now up by three. Fullerton still doing a pretty good job of attacking the offensive glass, being very aggressive, not getting in foul trouble while they do it. Look at McLean in the low post. He wants the ball right now. Murray. Good no-look pass to Zimmerman off the glass, and UCLA is back to within one. 11-10 Cal State. Good pass down off the glass. Picked off the glass by Martin. Got McLean running. Instead to Murray. Back to McLean. Off the glass. Shot won't go. Tracy's got it, and he is fouled on the putback. Well, I thought Don McClain made a very nice move, and next year in the NBA, he'll get that call. Took the ball to the basket, created the contact, did not get the call. Tracy Murray, now watch here. Steps in and gets hit here. He gets that call next year. Maybe not this year, still in the NCAAs, and Tracy Murray ends up at the free throw line anyway, but McClain wanted that at least attempt at the free throw line. Jim Kemp was charged with the personal foul, and Tracy Murray... Has got his first point of the ball game. Boy, what a year Tracy is having. 27 points against Loyola Marymount on Saturday in the game. You saw right here on prime ticket. McLean's put back won't go. Rebounded by Cal State. Out it comes Sunderland, and the Titans want to run. Oh, great pass to Kemp. They're going to get him for walking. You could see that one coming. That clock stops with 14 minutes and 21 seconds to first half, and we are tied at 11. I wish we could afford a minivan. You can, dear. Huh? For $14,200, you can have the number one minivan. Me. Oh, sure, with no equipment. Oh, nothing but air conditioning, automatic transmission, minivan, airbag, power steering and brakes, choice of warranty. I could kiss you. Please. You're a married man. Plymouth Voyager. An intelligent machine. Now get $500 cash back during our drive for the gold celebration. January 11th, Rock and Roll State Pool will flock to the stands of USC's Dado Field for the third annual MTV Rock and Jock Softball Challenge presented by Pepsi. Hammer, Tommy Lee, Brett Michaels, Dave Mustaine, and more will team up with Dwight Gooden, Bobby Bonilla, Roger McDowell, Paul Molitor, and other major leaguers for an all-star softball game to benefit the T.J. Martell Foundation. You can win tickets to the game and a chance to crash the post-game celebrity bash. Tune into Pirate Radio and Power 106 to find out how. MTV's Rock and Jock Softball Challenge presented by Pepsi. Tonight's game is brought to you by your Toyota dealers, reminding you to always buckle up. And by Southwest Airlines. Remember what fares were like before Southwest Airlines? Along with Paul Sunderland, I'm Phil Stone. We are at Pauley Pavilion. Tyus Edney and Mitchell Butler are checking into the ball game, replacing Sean Tarver and Rodney Zimmerman as the Bruins elect to go small here early. Ty Edney is so quick. And I don't think Jim Herrick is very comfortable with how well Cal State Fullerton has come out and stayed in their man-to-man, -man, gotten out on the break, crashed the offensive boards. I think he wants some more defensive pressure, and he's going to get it from Ty Edney. And it goes to McLean. Boy, Cal State just double teams him every time he gets the ball. Martin's jump shot won't go. Murray gets the rebound. His follow won't go. Out it goes to Bowen. Got Ward on the right side, and Bowen off his sneaker. Out of bounds, UCLA. UCLA getting the shots they want, just not putting the ball in the hole right now. Derek Martin with a very good shot. Tracy Murray with a near layup on the follow. Butler all alone. Well, he can fill it up from there. That's what I'm talking about. His feet were on the line. It was only worth two, but it gives UCLA a two-point lead. We had to talk him into taking that when he was so open, he figured something wrong. Somebody must have blown the whistle. Oh, has Mitchell Butler improved his shooting this year? That's Bowen. Butler right on top of him, and it goes to Ward. His fall away jumper. Oh, a beauty over McLean. Excellent entry pass. Deep into the baseline side. Nice turnaround jump shot. How did Martin get all the way down the lane? Through the paint he ran. That's a good call. Sunderland going the other way, and Ty Edney just reached out and grabbed him right in front of the referee. 
into the game. Ooh. Maybe close to traveling, but uh, Derek Martin just sneaking his way in there. Nice layup in the score. Also in for the Titans. Bruce Bowen checking out the ball game, coming in to replace him. J.D. Green, the 6'6 senior. Inbounds it comes to Aaron Sunderland. That's small, now to Green. Sunderland gets a step on Edney, and I believe they're going to get a foul on Tyus. You know, Tyus Edney, Paul, he doesn't run the court. He glides about an inch above it. Well, it's, he's, a, he's a little hovercraft. You know, you just never see the steps. But there's a there's a whole lot of quick out on the court right now between Derek Martin, Ty Edney, Sunderland, and Joe Small, who's been very quiet offensively so far. That's Ward. Jumper over McLean, not close. Off by Murray, out it comes to Tyus, three on one. Martin's got the basketball. He'll reverse it off the glass, shot won't go. And a foul is called against UCLA. And I believe they're going to get Tyus Edney. That's his third. Well, he does everything quick, and he's picked up his third personal foul in the span of about a minute and a half of playing time. Derek Martin takes it too far on the wing and is short, forced to shoot the reverse layup um, up among the trees. And, uh, well, I was wrong. It only took him 57 seconds. Ward wants to turn. Not enough. Rebounded by Green. It'll be out of bounds for UCLA. A.G. Ward is getting the ball so deep that I think he's got to take the ball to the basket. McLean will let him shoot that little call away whenever he wants it right now. I don't think he can prove he can make seven, eight, nine in a row off him. He's getting the jump shot now. McLean, good lob pass to Tracy. It is blocked from behind, and oh, what a block it was. Kevin Asmus across the timeline goes Green now to Sunderland. Ball oh, off jumper the Joe Small, not close. That's his game now. That's always been his game, coming off screens. And if he's hot, he's had the flu for about two weeks and maybe taking him out of his shooting rhythm. There's UCLA's patented high post game. McLean misses the follow by Murray, finally goes. You pay the price when you completely front in the low post. When the shot goes up from the outside, you give up inside defensive rebounding position. Joe Small finally gets two. He can hit four or five in a row. UCLA's going to have to be very aware of him next trip down. Well, how often do you see Mitchell Butler do that? Great save by Asmus to Sunderland. Now to Small. Three-point opportunity. Oh, well, McLean over the top. Oh, man, the official missed one there. Going to be out of bounds to UCLA. Should have been a, a foul against oh, McLean. Clock is stopped with 11.06 to play. UCLA by two. We'll be right back after a word from Southwest Airlines. Smart businesses have always been founded on the notion that two heads are better than one, which is why Southwest Airlines introduces the one buys two fly business deal. Buy one round trip ticket at our regular low unrestricted fare through February and your business partner flies with you free. So if Bausch buys a ticket, Lom flies free. Or if Ben buys a ticket, Jerry flies free. The one buys two fly business deal on Southwest Airlines. In these tough times, it's just plain smart. And how? We can see it now. How did they do it? And while all the others only talked about it. I'm so happy they did it. We did it. Introducing the 1992 Toyota Previa. Now the only van that meets all passenger car federal motor vehicle safety standards. Because when it comes to safety, we didn't let anything stop us. 11.06 to play in the first half. It's UCLA by two. This is the 100th anniversary of basketball. And did you know that until 1936, a jump ball was held after every basket and free throw? Boy, what a cumbersome arrangement. Well, the country was feeling very down after the Depression, and they needed some entertainment to speed things up. <laughs> and thank goodness. Boy, could you imagine with this talent having to stop the game and jump the ball up? Oh. Tarver is back in the game. Edney is out. Zimmerman is also checked back in. 
the UCLA with their big lineup in. Their very big lineup. Mike Lanier, yeah, 7'6", 300 pounds. Near steal. Mitchell Butler, he'll try and load it up. Too much juice. Rebounded by Ward. Oh, can he get off the ground? What's he go, about 225? Well, I think bigger than that. Oh, and great first step on Rodney Zimmerman. Beautiful move, and we're tied. Excellent catch first. Controlled himself, and then took the ball right to the rim. There's McLean. Tries to get a step on Ward. Has it taken away? Oh, wow. How in the world did they get A.G. Ward with that foul? Been a lot of contact in the first half. Just a little, where does he come down? Just comes down on the hand. Everybody says it's part of the ball, but you're not going to get that call with the superstars. The big shooters and the big names always get that call. Lanier off the front of the rim, still being fought for. Lanier comes down with it. He'll try and put it up again, but the fill won't go. And we've got a foul on Don McLean. Not a bad sequence by Mike Lanier. Don McLean picking up the foul and probably should have another one down earlier. Got away with going over the top. Fullerton not doing anything I talked about and staying in this basketball game, and I don't mind. They're playing very hard, and UCLA has helped them stay in their man-to-man because -man they're not shooting the ball at all well here early. Out of bounds, off the foot of Aaron Sunderland. UCLA will control for Cal State. That's their fifth turnover the ball game. Well, they must take good care of the ball, and my namesake uh, got it very careless just there. Sean Tarver with a defensive pressure. Mitchell Butler to McLean on the wing. looking for Zimmerman again. That's the second time Carver expected Zimmerman to go to the baseline. Zim was breaking out. Well, and what I don't like now, and neither does Jim Herrick, is that they're, they're nipping at each other. Sean Carver's yelling at Rodney Zimmerman. They should go over and talk to each other. Do you want it lower? Do you want the bounce pass? What are you expecting that you're not getting? Instead, they just kind of gave each other a little attitude. Bruins coming into this ball game hitting 53% from the field thus far here in the first half. They are 8 of 21, 38%. In fact, Tracy Murray, before Jim Herring sat him down, only one of six. That was John Sneed in his fourth year, a record of 46 and 46 at Cal State Fullerton. Oh. Well, get McLean out of bounds. To care, excuse me. Careless with the careless with the basketball. Bowen will inbound it. <laughs> Foul on Lanier. You can hear the contact inside. <laughs> I'll tell you, when Lanier, he stretched out his hands like, who, me? He put his hands out. One hand was at Magic Mountain. The other one was on Space Mountain at Disneyland. <laughs> what a wingspan. <laughs> and they're in different counties. I'd like to see A.G. Ward try to back Mike Lanier in under the hoop. Mission impossible. So at 9.28 to play, that is UCLA's 17 foul. The Titans will be to the line to shoot the one and one from here out. These are very, very important free throws. They make their free throws. They keep getting lucky at the defensive end. UCLA missing its good shots. And they might have a lead at halftime. Sean's got them both. For Williams, his first two of the ball game. And Cal State Fullerton has a two-point lead. Tarver walking. He is walking. And indeed, the officials got him. UCLA not taking care of the basketball. Turnovers, not much of an issue in terms of disparity, anyway. That's Joe Small, the Sunderland. Now to Ward. Bowen. Fouled. Tracy Murray. What impresses me to know in for the first 11 minutes of this ball game, Paul, is how the entry pass is going in for Cal State Fullerton. Almost at will. Yeah, no problem. UCLA is making no attempt to deny the pass to the low post. They're not fronting. They're not helping from the weak side. It's just catch it, and if you make your shots, you're going to score. Sean Williams, 6'10", junior at the line to shoot a pair. He 
He's got one of them. Williams now with three. He's on his season average. The Titans remain in their man-to-man -man defense, a defense that has uh, caused little or no problems to the Bruins all year long. Tracy takes a step to the left, dishes to Martin. Martin takes a step into the paint. He'll spin. Oh, rejected. Great block by Williams. Well, Joe Small was available up ahead. Ward, air ball, picked off by Mitchell Butler. That's a bad trip for Fullerton. They had the man wide open. Sunderland couldn't see him, and then they get the bad shot from A.G. Ward. UCLA, Paul, through the first 12 minutes, looks just to be a bit out of sync all the way around. Well, they got so many good shots early that I think that they expected to make. They got very frustrated. They were getting those kind of shots in the paint from Murray and McLean the first five or six minutes of the game, coming up empty, got Fullerton into it offensively and defensively, and now Tarver's going to go to the line. Joe Small, the guilty party, the 6'2 senior. And Tarver will shoot a pair. Well, last week at San Diego State, he put up a career-high 26 at 18 more against Loyola Marymount. So he's a guy that, uh, when you put those kind of numbers on the board and show that kind of improvement, Jim Herrick just about has to find some way to get him in the lineup. Well, he's got to get his 25 minutes. He's also 6'5", strong rebounder. He could play some small forward if he had to, but Herrick doesn't need him to play that position any longer. That's Bowen. Off the glass, won't go. We've got a foul. It'll go against Rodney Zimmerman. That's his first. UCLA, they're 18 foul. Pretty wild shot by Bowen, but he's a slasher, comes in and throws this one up off the board, really a brick. Long rebound, and then Zimmerman makes him pay for it in the paint. Cal State forward and not being patient at all at the offensive end. That's off. Tracy Murray clears out. It comes to Martin for Murray, his fifth rebound. Over Ward. He's got it. Don't let him get started. Not only will that get Tracy Murray started, but the crowd and the whole team. Don't let him get a three-pointer again the next trip down. Bowen down the paint he goes. He puts it up with the right hand and scores. Well, that's a great individual offensive move, but he took the ball on the dribble half the court from sideline into the paint. Murray again, this time it won't go. Picked up by Butler. Martin, three-pointer. That's all. Great pass. It'll be picked up by Martin. We have got a foul baseline it will go against Cal State well that one was called very late that's what the Titans are upset about Sean Williams it looks like he has a pretty good piece of the ball Derek Martin with a nice shake and bacon comes in maybe a little contact on the hand good call but the whistle doesn't blow until right now a whole beat and a half later Sean Williams has whistled for the foul it'll be a two shot violation person won't go Boy, look at Derek Martin. Behind Poo Richardson in career assists. Martin with 538. That'll stop the clock with six minutes and 54 seconds to play from Pauley Pavilion in Westwood. We're tied at 22. If you're trying to decide between an Isuzu Trooper with the most cargo space in its class and an Isuzu Rodeo with the most overall passenger space, take your time. After all, at these prices, you can afford to be choosy. Isuzu, there's no comparison. Bartender, send me down a rolling rock. You got it. Excuse me, pardon me, thank you. Rolling Rock. One spring, one brewery for a fresh, clean taste every time. 
Can you make that two rolling rocks? You got it. Other scores around the nation tonight. Fifth-ranked Connecticut over Fairfield, 89 to 59. Certainly no surprise there. Seton Hall rolled past Farley Dickinson, 72 to 46. In the second half, it's 16th-ranked Missouri. The Tigers over the Fighting Illini, 52-37. And one other score, Arizona State. Bill Frieder's fivesome is rolling as they knock off the Hurricane, 62 to 57. Arizona State got off to a bit of a slow start because of some suspensions, Jamal Faulkner and the like, but uh, they will be a very good team come Pac-10. And the Bruins are going to see him the first weekend. 6.54 to play in the first half. UCLA 22, Cal State Fullerton 22. UCLA pressing. UCLA trying to extend its man-to-man -man pressure quite a bit, maybe get into some traps to get themselves into this basketball game have been very flat. Bowen, three-pointer. He knocks it down. Not a big part of his game. He's supposed to play around the basket, but when you give him that much room, Bowen just drills the three. Zimmerman. Rattles the iron and won't fall. Pretty good game plan by the Titans. Back off Rodney Zimmerman. You'd be happy if he takes that 15-foot jump shot. Bowen said the last one felt so good. I'm going to do it again. Bowen. Bowen can't believe he didn't get three on that one. He's still talking to the official. His right foot just on the line. Yeah. Dow State Fullerton in the first half. Paul, they are out hustling the Bruins. They're out working them offensively, defensively, and now they're starting to feel it and really hit the outside shots. Bowen first to three. Here's where he squares up the right foot. If he wore a size 12 instead of 14, it would have been a three. Tracy Murray is double teamed. Now McLean. Underneath it goes to Zimmerman. He is hammered. Whoa, my. Bruce Bowen. It's hard to say who's going to get it. It'll be Bowen or Sean Williams, but Bowen came down with the look of a tiger in his eye. Well, he wanted to send a message. If all he wanted to do was block the shot, he accomplished that way up at the summit. But he wanted to send a little message. Yeah, I'm a tough guy. He came down on Rodney Zimmerman, going to send him to the free throw line. And they're going to actually give it to Sean Williams. So Zimmerman to the line. He's only been to the free throw line twice this year. Now he's one of three. UCLA from the line, three of seven thus far here in the first half. Make it four of eight. They came in hitting 73% from the free throw strike. Half court trap. That's Bowen. Small shot won't go. McLean clears out. It comes to Martin. He's looking around. He'll take it all the way in off the glass and scores. Wisely so. And Martin takes away the inbounds pass. We've always said that the key for UCLA or any great team, it starts at the defensive end. You up the defensive pressure, play 40 minutes of good, intense defense, you're going to win most basketball games. And when you got this kind of talent, it may take you all the way to the final four. Tracy Murray works off the pick beautifully. His shot won't go, but the follow does. Rodney Zimmerman trying to control it, simply tapped it into the cylinder. Talked about Zimmerman knowing his role, set picks, play defense, block shots, and crash the offensive boards. Ward has his pocket picked out. It comes to Derek Martin again. Shot won't go. He is fouled by Joe Small. Two Four. on one, but I think a good decision for Derek Martin to take the ball all the way to the basket. Talked about A.G. Ward getting the ball in the post and taking it to the rim. There he gets the good head fake, but Derek Martin on the double team. Zimmerman with a good kick out, and then Derek Martin, two on one, but Small never came to him until the very end. Derek Martin taking it all the way in for the score. We're tied at 27. We'll be right back after a word from Southwest Airlines. Southwest Airlines now offers non-stop service from LAX to Las Vegas. And if these six reasons don't convince you to fly Southwest Airlines to Las Vegas, maybe this one will. 
Fly Southwest Airlines and try our new service from LAX to Las Vegas. We have the lowest unrestricted fares to Las Vegas. No other publication has it all. The Cal High Sports edition of Student Sports Magazine. Monthly coverage of California's youth, high school, JC, and college teams, players, and coaches combined with the edge on how to improve athletically and academically. That's right, skill tips in all sports, plus concentration, self-discipline, and nutritional tips for peak performance. Call now, 800-888-TIPS, just $29. That's 800-888-TIPS. Surprisingly, we have a ball game. 4.45 to play in the first half, and we are deadlocked. The Los Angeles Kings will test the waters one more time when they tangle with the San Jose Sharks. Prime Ticket is ready to reel in all the action for you Thursday, live at 7.30, only here on Prime Ticket. Watch it. Now UCLA coming in. 53% from the field. Tonight they are a paltry 38%, while Cal State Fullerton is 10 of 23. Not exactly lighting it up either. McLean and Murray combined 5 for 15. Those are not good numbers, the kind we've seen so far this season. To the line, 1992 candidate for the Francis Pomeroy Naismith Award, which is presented annually to the nation's top senior player under 6 feet, Derek Martin. And I noticed they list him at 5'11 and a half. And three quarters. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> wonder if they hold a measurement for that award. Sean Williams lost the handle. How in the world did he, did he miss that one? John Sneed doesn't understand. For his Titans, their ninth turnover. Good decision by Jim Herrick to change defenses. He's not about to sit back and just watch this go on. the Titans were pounding the ball inside at will. Now a foul away from the ball. And it's going to go against the guys in the bright orange. Bowen and Murray, just a wrestling match down in the low post. And Rodney Zimmerman standing up there with nobody guarding him, taking his pick of whether to look at McLean or Murray. Tracy will go to the line now to shoot the one and one. Oh, he's a great free throw shooter. He's 28 of 29 now. He's got them both. Make it 29 of 30. This is where Jim Herrick's bench really comes into play. Mitchell Butler, 6'5", great athlete. Just keep running fresh legs out onto the press. That's a good point, Paul. That's exactly what has happened to most teams that have come into Polo Pavilion this year, including Long Beach State, Pepperdine, Loyola. A.G. Ward. Sunderland takes a step to the left. Goes by everybody. And beautiful move to the basket and scores. 6 1 going all the way to the rim. That just should never happen. Zimmerman comes around to front of him. Good defensive switch. Herrick has taken McLean off of A.G. Ward. Rodney Zimmerman, the better defensive player down in the low post. Bowen gets a first step on Murray, puts it off the glass, won't go. The follow does. Bowen gets his own rebound and puts it in. Well, we talked about he being the most important player of late. 13 points so far in the first half, and all of them coming off real good effort and execution. Tied at 31. Tracy Murray down the lane. He goes and scores. Murray now at 10. When he gives you that little head and shoulder fake, somebody on Fullerton has got to come over and take the charge, at least double team. You can't let him take the ball easily to the rim. Murray's available for the three. Oh, should have given it up. Oh, Derek, wow. I'd like to see, Yeah, Derek Martin probably got away with one and got bailed out here on the foul. Tracy Murray is wide open right now on the right wing. 
and Martin just takes the ball way too far right to the defense. He's got the trailer option and Zimmerman now coming into the, the box and besides that he travels. Good call. 2.51 to play in the first half. UCLA 33. The Titans of Cal State Fullerton 31. Sean Tarver coming back into the ballgame. Rodney Zimmerman will take a seat. Zimmerman, the 6'9 sophomore from Air Academy High in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Martin. Now with eight points. Came into the ball game averaging seven. Senior from St. Anthony's High School in Compton. Pac-10 leader in assists a year ago, almost seven a game. Boy, how valuable is he to this Bruin team, Paul? Valuable enough not to start the very beginning of the season, but I think Jim Herrick likes him on the court. He wants to play much more up-tempo, and Derek Martin gives that to him. Aaron Sunderland for the win. That's Bowen. Baseline it goes to Asmus. Sunderland took a step, puts it up, shot doesn't get anywhere. Out it comes, the Bruins are running Martin. Looking for Tarver, instead goes to Murray. He'll load it up from three-point range and knocks it down. Tracy with 13. He started one of seven from the field tonight. Somebody has got to find Tracy Murray on the break. You can't allow him just to run the sideline, catch the ball, spot up, check the breeze, and shoot it. you got to check him all the way down the floor. Now the officials are going to call... A jump ball. The possession arrow belongs to Cal State Fullerton. UCLA on a 16 to 4 run. And it all Ward coming into the ball game. And it all started to happen with defensive pressure. Tarver came out and picked up Sunderland way out on the court defensively, and then they went to the half court trap, then full court trap, and then the 16 to 4 run. I'll tell you, Bruce Bowen was on a bullet train to the basket and ran into Mitchell Butler. <laughs> so that'll send Bowen to the line. Coming up at halftime, Alan Massengale and Larry Burnett will bring you up to date on the latest scores and highlights from all around the world of sports. It comes your way in just two minutes and six seconds. Bowen has got the front end. Okay, Bruce Bowen just puts his head down and goes either right or left. If Mike Lanier comes back in the game and takes the charge, Bowen might just crumble or break in half. Well, it's the holiday season. Wish bones are the thing. <laughs> well, he's not looking around to pass the ball once he takes it on the dribble. He wants to go all the way to the basket. Tarver wants to turn. Now releases to Murray. Outside it goes to Derek Martin. Wayne, it is trapping with the basketball, and he knew it. That's where the body goes in motion and the brain says, wait, wait, wait just a second. Kind of a tentative play. McLean really out of his offensive rhythm right now. He would usually catch and shoot that with his eyes closed without batting an eye. Well, UCLA, since the eight-minute mark of the first half, has really begun to extend their defense. Small. Not shot well. Rebound McLean. Well, he's ice cold and getting good shots. If he were hitting those shots, Fullerton would still be in the lead in spite of UCLA's run. Well, Small is now one of seven from the field. Butler tries to get the first step on Bowen. Now releases to McLean. He'll turn, puts it up over Ward, and blocked by Asmus. But before any of that could happen, A.G. Ward will be charged with the foul. A.G. Ward is the son of Gary Ward. Gary Ward played for the Texas Rangers back in 1985 when I was doing play-by-play -play in Arlington, Texas. Hard to believe that Gary Ward could have a son that big. <laughs> oh, my. He calls him sir. <laughs> McLean, he's got them both. Like Tracy Murray, Don is automatic from the free throw line. You put him on that charity stripe, and you may as well just put a couple of points up on the board. That's Bowen. Shot partially blocked by McLean. The follow by Ward will go. The basket will go, and the foul will go against the Bruins. See, when Bowen goes to the basket, 
They just go to offensive rebound. They know he's never going to pass the ball off an A.G. Ward with good anticipation. Look at that. Here's the head down. He's not looking up, going right to the rim. McLean comes over to help, and A.G. Ward gets the kind of look what I found because uh, Bowen kind of put up a brick. Very difficult ball to rebound. So Murray now with three personal fouls. A.G. Ward trying to complete the three-point opportunity. Shot won't go. Butler will clear it. 54 seconds to play on the game clock. 51 on the shot clock. UCLA by five. The Bruins will unquestionably go for the final shot. Great pass on the baseline to McLean, and Asmus fouls him. Oh, McLean, he just put a senior move on Asmus. First, he pinned away his defensive man who was fronting him, and then Asmus could not get over in time. McLean has such a quick release that in spite of Asmus' defensive effort, McLean was still able to get the shot off. I like the game plan that John Sneed has put into effect for this ballgame against the Bruins of UCLA tonight. They are taking it right to UCLA, and that... By that, I mean in the first 12 minutes, they were pounding the ball inside repeatedly. Well, that's a huge surprise to me because this is a 500 team who hasn't exactly played Duke, North Carolina, etc. You know, they've lost to some pretty weak teams around the country, including Pepperdine by 10 or 15 at home, a team UCLA destroyed right here at Pauley Pavilion a couple of weeks ago. So to be able to stay in this game without packing in the zone and getting some real breaks is a real good sign for the second half. Bruins by seven with 22 seconds to play on the first half. By second call. That's Sunderland. Got a step on Tarver. Puts it up. Shot is partially blocked. McLean comes down with it. And that is the first half of play. UCLA, eight minutes ago, was down by four, went on a 16-4 run. And as the first 20 minutes draws to a close, it's UCLA by seven. Now, let's go to the Press Box Halftime Report with Alan Massengale. Okay, thank you, Phil. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the DHL Halftime Update. I'm Alan Massengale. Stay around because we're going to update the college hoops from around the country in just a minute. Man, I need to sell my car. Yeah, but a little classified ad costs big bucks. And how do they know what it looks like? You really need to see it. When words can't complete the picture, call The Photo Ad Magazine. Call Auto Trader Magazine. Our photographers come to you, Orange County. When you need to sell a car, seeing is believing. Hey, you want to see how far you can get on a set of Kelly tires that cost a lot less than you think? First stop, Lake Powell, Arizona. Then it's north to the Thousand Islands. Down way out to Oregon. Down the Lake Okeechobee. The point is, for a few bucks, a Kelly tire will take you to a lot of great fishing holes. Get a good deal on a great Kelly tire at Allen Tire in Fullerton at Target Center or 2401 North Tustin, Santa Ana. Now that's a good deal on a great tire. spirit of Europe that inspired him. And when Mr. Ford came home, he created Lincoln Continental. Today, with computerized suspension, electronic transmission, and anti-lock brakes, Continental is one of the most advanced automobiles in the world. Lincoln Continental, what a luxury car should be. 
This holiday season, thanks to Sears, you can give E.T., the most popular movie ever, for just $9.99. You even get a free full-size E.T. poster. That's E.T. in a poster for just $9.99. A great holiday value. You can count on me. think of the Big East, you don't think of Miami, but they're there whether or not they belong just yet. They had a chance to find out against some Pac-10 competition, Arizona State. Bill Frieder looking word early as the Hurricanes giving the Devils all they could handle. First half action, Devils on the break. Stevin Smith feeding Jamal Faulkner. Look out. SU by four at the half. 29-25. Canes will be tough. They go to 7-3. Constantine Popa for the baby hook. Gaines hanging in there, but late in the game, yes, you would ice it. Wayne Fontana gets the feed from Smith. Reverse jam. Sun Devils slamming the door on the Canes. Canes put up a good effort, but not good enough. Stevin Smith had 19 points for the Sun Devils, 62-57 the final. Anthony Lawrence, 19 for Miami. Upset in the making in the first half as Lamar is beating UNLV at UNLV, 16-10. Number 17 ranked Kentucky takes care of Ohio U. Jamal Mashburn, 23 points. Kentucky goes 2-6-2 on the year. Missouri, no problem with Illinois, 61-44. That snapped an eight-game Tiger losing streak to Illinois. Javon Credit had 16 points in the win for Mizzou. Well, the Charger ru Chargers ruined Dan Henning's Christmas today. He has been fired as head coach after three seasons. His first two seasons, the Chargers were 6-10. This year, they fell to 4-12. and 12. That adds up in this business to adios. I think the bottom line is uh, what's come down here. And uh, I have no argument with that. We haven't won. Now that's what it's all about in the NFL. A lot of speculation as to who might join them there. We'll talk to you about this with Larry Burnett and me on the press box tonight at 10 p.m. we got all the scores and highlights from college basketball, the NBA, National Hockey League, plus... More honors for Raiders safety Ronnie Lott. We'll tell you about Ronnie's latest accolade on the press box. Join us at 10. Escape to an oasis in Palm Springs. Now you can take advantage of the perfect paradise vacation getaway at one of the world's most renowned country clubs. And it's all right here for the taking. Imagine taking a vacation with all the beauty and warmth of a breathtaking country club. Stay in a beautiful home with everything you need to make your stay the most enjoyable family vacation ever. Look out onto a world of beauty. Landscaped grounds, lush green fairways, sparkling blue lakes, and enjoy the fresh air and spectacular view of the Santa Rosa Mountains all right next to Palm Springs. This perfect vacation has lots of golf, tennis, swimming, racquetball, and a complete spa and fitness center. Enjoy it all while your kids are being well taken care of in our child care center. Plus, we'll enhance your stay with an award-winning dining experience while you overlook our majestic grounds. Call 1-800-869-1130 about Palm Valley Country Club's vacation packages. Palm Valley Country Club, there's nothing quite like it under the sun. Isuzu Stylus, the first and only import under $10,000 with a driver's side airbag standard. So you too can enjoy a lower cost of living. The Isuzu Stylus at just $91.99, there's no comparison. If you want complete refreshment, look to the pure mountain streams of the Laurel Highlands, where crystal clear spring water makes what may be the world's most refreshing light beer, rolling rock light. Rock Light's the only light beer brewed from these cold, natural mountain streams. Which is why, when you have a heavy thirst, nothing can refresh.
just like rock light. Rock light. It's refreshing to know. We welcome you back to halftime at Pauley Pavilion, where UCLA, number two in the nation, in front of the Cal State Fullerton Titans, 42 to 35. The Bruins return to the prime ticket lineup on Saturday, January 4th, as they take on the Georgia Bulldogs right here at Pauley Pavilion. Georgia, of course, features the Southeastern Conference's leading scorer, Laterrell Green. He's averaging 20 points a game this year. Make your plans to join Paul and me as the Bruins and the Bulldogs of Georgia. Lockhorn Saturday, January 4th, right here on Prime Ticket. We welcome you back to Pauley Pavilion. Well, I think the one thing that is most surprising about this ball game is that the difference in the game is at the foul line. UCLA has been to the foul line six more times than have the Titans. And they have scored six more points. And I don't think that's a reflection of the home floor advantage. They didn't shoot the ball at all well early. They got a couple of second shots. UCLA out of sync offensively. Like I said, Fullerton had to pack it in and play zone and run time off the clock. They did none of that. And they're only down by seven here after the first 20 minutes. Cal State Fullerton put out a great effort. Bowen was good. A.G. Ward was very good early. And then uh, Herrick made the defensive switch, bringing Rodney Zimmerman over to him, and we haven't heard from him in the last maybe 10 minutes of that half. Paul, the thing that surprised me most, with seven minutes to go in the first half, UCLA really began to make a run at the Titans, and still John Steed elected to stay in that man-to-man -man defense instead of maybe calling a timeout and going to a matchup zone. Well, maybe that would have been the time. Yeah. And also, UCLA came out, and Sean Tarver came out and pressured Aaron Sunderland at the yeah. point. They went into the half-court trap. They went into the full-court pressure and created a lot of turnovers in the last five or six minutes and took the momentum away from Cal State Fullerton. The first five or six minutes of the second half, I know it's a cliche, but that's going to determine if this is a blowout by UCLA or Fullerton can stay in it the whole way. Well, it has not been a crisply played game by either the second-ranked Bruins or the Titans of Cal State uh, Fullerton. What do you look for in the second half from Cal State if they're to get back in this? They're only down by seven. They've got to get the ball inside a little bit, I think, to A.G. Ward. Make Don McLean play some more defense. A.G. Ward's got to uh, be a little bit more of a factor. And Joe Small has been a, a non-factor yeah, as well. Has. He's got terrible numbers from the outside, and that's his game. He just comes off screens, off the break, and shoots the ball from the outside. He's got to get a hot hand. Well, both teams are back on the court. We're coming back with highlights and statistics of the first half, and we'll do it. And just a moment. Feel the excitement. Trotsky shoots. He scores. He's win. Tense the drama. Oh, no. Everybody shoots. He scores. Capture the experience of Los Angeles Kings hockey as they drive toward another Spike Division championship and the ultimate prize, the Stanley Cup. The Kings test the waters one more time when they tangle with the San Jose Sharks. Prime Ticket has all the action for you Thursday, live at 7.30. Watch it. Say who we are, and you save this with your discount subscription to this. Roden Track, at the lowest rate going, an instant TV discount of $9.97 off the basic rate, if you grab the bargain now. Call toll-free 1-800-942-6400. 12 issues are just $9.97, an instant TV discount of half off the basic subscription rate. To save now, call 1-800-942-6400. That's 1-800-942-6400. Is this you washing your car, missing all the fun, or spending $6 at the car wash when two days later it looks like this? Now there's a way to keep your car looking great all the time. It's the Amazing Duster. Originally designed for car buffs to keep their show cars looking new, its specially treated fibers lift the dust off without a scratch. And it's guaranteed for even the most delicate paint. With this expensive investment to protect... I'd rather use my Amazing Duster than wash any day. It works so well, you'll want one for every car in your family. And they make great gifts, too. It's the best present my kids could have gotten me. It's better than washing. And a lot cheaper, too. Stop washing when you could be dusting. Call this number now to order your duster. Thousands have been sold for $29.95. But take advantage of this special TV offer and pay only $19.95. Call now and get this $5 carrying case absolutely free. That's a $35 value. So call this number now. What do you open the day after Christmas? 
thoroughbred racing at Santa Anita in spectacular winning colors. To celebrate Santa Anita's 55th opening day, you'll get another Santa Anita tradition. This brilliant 13-month wall calendar full of the beauty of Santa Anita. Yours free at Santa Anita Hollywood Park and Los Alamitos. You're a winner on opening day. Take home the winning colors of Santa Anita free. This Thursday, the day after Christmas at Santa Anita Hollywood Park and Los Alamitos. Super Lotto? They changed it. That's cool. She likes it. Oh, I'd look good as a millionaire. It's smoking now. Was that who I think it was? It's a big jackpot. I'm ready. Just give me a new wardrobe. Hey. It could be me. The new Lotto. Super Lotto. Odds are you're going to like it. <sighs> Let's go shopping. Half time at Pauley Pavilion where the Bruins out in front of Cal State Fullerton 42 to 35. It was not a particularly impressive first half for Tracy Murray. He was one for seven from the field until he pulled up and hit this three pointer midway through the first half. Tracy went on to lead UCLA at halftime in scoring with 13. Don McLean has 10. Derek Martin nine points and four big assists. For the Titans, it is all Bruce Bowen. He picked up two of his game, leading 15 points on this pass now. Look at the move he put on Zimmerman right there. Went right to the iron, laid it off the glass, and scored Bowen with 15. Like the Bruins, the Titans also have two players in double figures. A.G. Ward, four rebounds and 10 points. But the big news is where is Joe Small? He led the conference last year in scoring he is averaging 21 points this year he has only two points and two assists so both teams are back out on the court as we get set for the second half of action cal state fullerton has simply got to find the way to shut down the bruins who closed so very very strong in the second half just as they did against Loyola Marymount. Right now, let's take you down to the end of the court. Well, Paul Sunderland is standing by with UCLA head coach Jim Herrick. Paul? All right, thanks very much, Phil. You spent an awful lot of time in the locker room at halftime. You a little bit upset with the first half performance? To or is that an understatement? To say the least, <laughs> uh, Paul, uh, we're a little bit out of sync, but, yeah. you know, really, you got to give Fullerton credit. They came in here and made a commitment. We're going after them, give them everything we got. Really, they've outplayed us. They've out-hustled us, outplayed us. Uh, uh, and got us out of sync and I want to give them the credit and now we got to regroup and uh, and get ourselves back on track and not let anything bother us. It's always done at the defensive end. You went out with a little half court pressure and full court trap. We're going to see that at the beginning of the second I, half. I thought that got us a little yeah. got us moving yeah. anyway. Yeah. Thanks Paul. All right, I've seen you mad and I don't want to see it ever again. Phil it's an ugly sight. <laughs> Watch for the Bruins to come out fast. Back to you. All right Paul let's check first half statistics right now and again they are not a pretty sight either. UCLA 38 percent from the field Cal State Fullerton 41 percent neither team lighting it up from three point range free throws as I said a moment ago that's really the difference Cal State Fullerton has shot only 12 they've made eight UCLA has shot six more and they've made six more and that is the difference in this ball game rebounds UCLA by three turnovers Cal State Fullerton with nine the Bruins with six. I want to remind you to join us Saturday live coverage here on Prime Ticket as the Portland Trailblazers lock it up with the L.A. Lakers. Now we are just about set to go as this holiday crowd enjoying what has been the most competitive game we have seen here at Pauley Pavilion all year. Well Jim Herrick said let's give the Fullerton Titans credit. They didn't come in with a gimmick defense. They just came straight at us. They played straight man to man. They played hard and uh, obviously not pleased with how the Bruins have played at the offensive end. But uh, Jim Herrick quick to give the Fullerton Titans credit. McLean wants the basketball. He bounces off a ward rejected by Osmus. Well that ball was about six inches short or below the rim as well. That's a silly play to start the second half. Pretty good two-man game between McLean and Tarver, and maybe that ball did have a chance, but uh, I tell you, that's an obvious goal, Tend if there ever was one. Asmus. 
Got to try Owen. to do something to get Joe Small a good shot out of the offense, something to get him into the flow of this game. They're not going to win if he stays, you know, only two points again in the second half. I've got some dampness on the floor over on the far side. Bowen got whacked right on the elbow as well. I thought the officials were pointing at the floor and they were pointing at uh, Bowen's elbow. Boy, what a great talent. Bruce Bowen. 6'7", junior. Hails from Fresno, California. Watch what happens here. I was watching the ball and did not see him go down. You know what he did? You know what he did, Paul? He, yeah, I think he hit his hand or his funny bone right on his thigh. Huh. Well, that's a self-inflicted wound. I don't know what you call that. But let's hope he's okay, because he's a key for Fullerton. Sunderland oh. shot won't go clear by Rodney Zimmerman. Oh, he cleared that one with authority. Tracy Murray. Oh, my shot. Oh, that one climbed the mountain. We've been expecting rain for days. It still hasn't come, but maybe it's on its way. Boy, what a great adjustment on his shot. Get him out. Get him off, folks. Get off him. J.D. Green out front to Sunderland. The Asmas. J.D. Green again works against Murray. Got a good first step. Tries to put it up into Asmas' hand. His follow won't go. Ward's follow. Finally, the third is the charm. For such a big man, A.G. Ward's got nice, soft hands. He's the one that eventually does capture the offensive rebound, able to put the ball back with some direction. Man-to-man -man defense, Ward has drawn McLean. McLean's got it as he works off the nice pick and fills it up. Oh, wow. Great baseline pick set on the block. McLean broke to the free throw line. Ward at the other end, it'll give and go. How long has that play been in existence? Nice penetration, unselfish kick ahead. McLean gets it to go, and a blocking foul will go against Kevin Asmus. Asmus just, well, a step or two late. Don McLean taking the ball strong to the basket. Excellent pass ahead. So Asmus, that's his third for the senior from San Diego. California. Shooting one. Bowens back in the ball game. McLean will shoot one. He completes the three-point opportunity, and for Don, he now has 17. Here comes the full court pressure. That's a good job by Sunderland not to be forced up the sideline by Sean Tarver. Going to dribble right into the trap. the basketball Asmus goes baseline tries to dish it off McLean broke nicely anticipating the pass and here comes Martin one on one again small and McLean he'll play the trailer oh, 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 oh. out to Sunderland big small. shot big Carter shot there won't go the tip oh. won't go either oh. Owen keeps it in play UCLA tries to keep it in play and can't out of bounds to Cal State as Tracy Murray hits the hardwood. Small, just cold as ice from the outside. That's the shot that John Sneed, head coach from Fullerton, would want him to get. He's now one for nine, their leading score at 21 a game. And he's not taking bad shots. Now, of those point. nine shots, all of them have been within his range. With the right hand, he finally gets one to go. And he turns around, looks at the official, and said, hey. 51-41 with 16.38 to play. Fullerton going to double team either McLean or Murray. Whoever gets, whoever posts up and they leave the free throw line entry passer wide open. Rock from behind out of bounds to UCLA. Time before, you remember, Phil, they moved on McLean up to the free throw line rather than Rodney Zimmerman. He got the wide open 15-footer. If Zimmerman's in that position, they'll let him go. Tarver. He's got it. Baseline jumper rattles 
the iron in ball. Oh, small, two trips down the court, four points. That's what they say about shooters, you know, you got to ice down their elbows, not their knees or ankles after a game. He'll keep putting it up. Tarver, he's going to let it fall Three point range, not close. Picked up by the Titans. Here they come. Oh, it was there. Bruce Bowen was there on the wing, just didn't make the catch. Sean Williams wants it. Instead, it'll come to Sunderland. Baseline it goes. E.G. Roy got Zimmerman in the air over McLean. Shot is good, and he's going to the line to shoot another. Good call. I thought McLean was there just a step late. He made the nice rotation after Zimmerman got beaten with the head fake. Here's the isolation outside. Don't leave your feet. Going hard baseline. And McLe McLean was there. He just turned his body at the last moment. I think if he would have stayed chest to chest, he might have gotten the charge. A.G. Ward. Washington High School in Los Angeles. He has got it. And it's 53-46. We are back now to that seven-point halftime margin with 15-29 to play in the ballgame. Around here, a new house may have been built in 1750. And just off Route 140, near Grafton, Massachusetts, you'll see land that's been in the family for seven generations. There are over four million miles of roads in Alamo Territory, all across America. And every day, with every car nationwide, only Alamo gives you all those miles for free, including 22 miles of road in a place they've been calling New England for more than 300 years. Super Lotto? They changed it. That's cool. She likes it. Oh, I'd look good as a millionaire. It's smoking now. Is that who I think it was? It's a big jackpot. I'm ready. This could be a new wardrobe. Hey. It could be me. The new Lotto. Super Lotto. Odds are you're going to like it. <sighs> Let's go shopping. Tonight's game is brought to you by Coors Dry. Double chill for a finish as clean as ice. Try Coors Dry and feel the chill. And by Southwest Airlines. Remember what pairs were like before Southwest Airlines? 15-29 to play in the ball game. In the first half, look, Cal State Fullerton 41%. In the second half, they are 5 of 7. Taking good shots. Joe Small finally got in the book. In the, in the second half with a nice layup. And A.G. Ward still playing well. Got to get the basketball a little bit more. Cal State will press here. Martin telling Mitchell Butler to go on across the line. I can handle this. Pius Edney's into the ball game. It's Edney and Martin at the guards. Now Fullerton in straight zone. This is what you said at the outset, and I concurred might be the key to Cal State Fullerton staying close. Mitchell Butler looking for Murray out there on the perimeter, and McLean was already looking inside on the. Not in McLean's fault. McLean was going in to hit the offensive boards because Mitchell Butler caught the ball in the paint with a man on his back. He's got to take that ball to the basket. Seven point lead, UCLA. That's Williams. He wants to turn in front of the basket, can't do it. Bowen. They're small. Rattles the rim. McLean clears, and he is fouled by Bowen. Bad foul by Bruce Bowen. That is his second personal foul. He cannot get in foul trouble. He has been creating that time off the dribble. Joe Small again, spotting up for the three, got the shot, just rimmed it out. UCLA is going to put Murray on the wing. McLean run the baseline. Nice pass. Oh, can't get the shot to go. A foul underneath. It's going against McLean. A foul of frustration, I believe. Well, he got an excellent pass along the baseline. Took it strong to the rim. Didn't make it. Came up a little bit short and fouled out of frustration. Good block out inside. Look at this pass. And then goes right strong to the basket. Good rebound inside. Mitchell Butler, Don McLean going for the ball. McLean gets the foul. Sunderland. Stop puts it up. Put back goes. That is A.G. Ward. Ward now 
with 19. Weak side rebounding. That's his game. It has been since he came to Fullerton. I just didn't think he could do it against this kind of quality front line. Out of bounds off Cal State. 13.55 to play. We've got a five-point ball game. UCLA 53, the Titans 48. Cal State on a 9-2 run here in the second half. Cal State into that zone. A lot of man-to-man -man principles in this zone, however. When you get out on the wing, you've got to not allow your man drive baseline. Down the paint, he goes and scores! Whoa, what a shot! Tyus Edney is 5'10", maybe, maybe 140 pounds. Great quickness and penetration. Fullerton has got to pinch and deny. You can't allow that in his own defense. A.G. Ward answers. He now has 21. Came into the ballgame, average of 19. 55-50 Bruins, 13 minutes to play. Now, what you do when you run the zone, you force the offense to move the ball around. You force the passes. Sunderland. Down low it goes to Ward. Knocked away, picked up by Sunderland. He'll go baseline from eight feet away. Shot won't go. Look Great at position by Bowen. And the reverse layup is good. He's now it is a three-point game. Just out jumping, out hustling, out working the Bruins inside. What a great run by Fullerton coming out in the first six, seven minutes of the second half. McLean out to Martin. He tries to penetrate to Tyus Edney. Down the lane he goes again to McLean off the glass. Shot runs, won't fall. They can bring it to a one-point game. UCLA's getting good shots, just not going down. And Fullerton is doing a job at both ends on the backboard. Joe Small with the basketball. Now to Bowen. Takes a step around Edney. Tries to put it up and scores. Boy, is he ever feeling it. A slasher. He's hit a three-point shot. And an excellent move off the dribble that time. Bruins will be looking for a timeout. They got to get a timeout. And there it is. And boy, are the Titans up off the bench in a hurry. 11.37 to play on the ball game. We'll be right back after a word from Southwest Airlines. Smart businesses have always been founded on the notion that two heads are better than one, which is why Southwest Airlines introduces the One Buys Two Fly business deal. Buy one round-trip ticket at our regular low unrestricted fare through February, and your business partner flies with you free. So if Bausch buys a ticket, Lom flies free. Or if Ben buys a ticket, Jerry flies free. The One Buys Two Fly business deal on Southwest Airlines. In these tough times, it's just plain smart. And how? In the art of making beer, no one has explored the essence of refreshment like Coors. And now we've discovered a way to double chill a beer, to lock in the refreshing dry cold of the Rockies. The result is a unique cold sensation and a finish as clean as ice. Introducing double chilled Coors Dry. Only Coors does it. Coors Dry has it. Cold from the start, clean to the finish. Coors Dry. Feel the chill. Look at this one. If you just joined us, UCLA 55, Cal State Fullerton 54. We have a special treat coming your way Christmas Day as Prime Ticket presents Holiday Home Runs, Part 1 with Steve Garvey. Six of the greatest baseball games ever played. Now it all comes your way Christmas Day, starting at 4, only on Prime Ticket. A.G. Ward, what a ball game he is having. 21 points. He's 10 of 15 from the field. Had 35 against Portland and 15 rebounds. Checking out his chin, wondering about his profile. Looking good and playing very well. Sean Tarver is back in the ball game. Spelling Derek Martin. Don McLean is also out. Tarver, shot won't go. Cleared by Sean Williams. Fullerton owns the backboard. No second tries for UCLA. Bowen. 
got it and scores. Cal State Fullerton is on top by one. UCLA at one point, Paul had a 51-39 lead. And Bruce Bowen looks like the best player in the United States right now. Ooh. Zim out to Tarver. The Tracy Murray, yes! Tracy Murray can win this game for UCLA by hitting three-point shots. You have got to shade to his side of the court. Don't let him beat you with his favorite weapon. G. Ward gets Zimmerman in the air, shoots and scores. That is an NBA move. Big time shot, little head fake. A.G. Ward only 6'6", going over Zimmerman at 6'9". Tracy Murray now in the same side corner. Murray, look out. Back to Tyus down the paint. He goes. Good. Dish to Rodney Zimmerman and Sean Williams fouls him. Good foul, though. Zimmerman was wide open for the dunk. Williams coming over on the adjustment. 32, Sean Williams. Look at Zimmerman setting screens along the baseline. Zimmerman's finding these little seams. Again, you cannot allow penetration in the, against the zone, and then Rodney Zimmerman going strong to the basket. Nothing going right for the Bruins right now. That one looks good, but it just goes in and out for Zimmerman on his first attempt. We're tied at 58 with 9.56 to play. Misses the second pull down by Cal State. That is Joe Small. Sunderland will bring it across the line. Joe Small. Small waits for them to set the low post game. Now to Kemp. Kemp was working with four personal fouls. Zimmerman doing a good job right now keeping the ball out of A.G. Ward's hands. They got lots of time on the shot clock coming down now to 12-13. Got to get a good shot here. Small. Jump shot in the paint. Won't go. Rebounded by Kemp. Shot is blocked right out to Small. He'll try it again off the front of the rim. Cal State is holding on to that basketball. It'll go out of bounds to UCLA, but boy, what hustle by the Titans. Working hard, both ends on the glass. Zimmerman with the saving block by A.G. Ward, and Small had the easy jump shot on the follow in the paint and just pulled the string. Never really let the ball go. Missed short. Look at that. Fullerton out-rebounding the Bruins right now. Just outworking them. Second half rebounding. The Titans ahead 13 to 3. Murray got a step on Kemp, and Kemp's out of the wall game. He's going to the seat forever. At least for tonight. Well, Don McClain looks like to be out of his game or off his game, I should say, here tonight. But Tracy Murray is going to beat you from three-point range. You have to stop him. Let me correct something. That is Kemp's second. It is Sean Williams who has four. Edney looking low post for. Rodney Zimmerman now. Mitchell Butler up and over Kemp. Shot won't go. Picked up by Murray. And he stuffs it back in. Murray now with 20. And UCLA has a two-point lead. Been UCLA's leading score all season long. Can beat you from outside. And he's really improved his inside game. Posting up and rebounding. Great pass off the glass. It won't go. A foul is called. Oh, Paul, that's a bad call. Looked like Mitchell Butler was very late. Aaron Sunderland was wide open. UCLA came out to double-team Bowen. He was available. Took the ball immediately to the basket. No, he's never there. He's never there. He's moving his feet the whole way in, takes the last big step. He is not there. Aaron Sunderland should be at the free-throw line. Big call. Now remember that call. It came with 8.27 to play. McLean left all alone. He's deadly when that happens. It is picked up by Cal State as McLean misses. Don in the ball game with 17. Small. He got it. And we're tied at 60. Excellent pull up. Joe Small with a nice kick ahead from Sunderland. Nice penetration and shot in the paint. 
Small now with eight. He ended the first half with two. The average is 21. Butler goes baseline, gets Kemp in the air, now out to Edmund. What a dish to McLean! How did Don make that shot? How did he make that shot? Small, three-point range. Yes, and the Titans are back up by one. This game taking on the characteristics that the Southern Cal Ohio State game took on two nights ago. Oh, what a great game that was. This is just back and forth slugfest. What a shot by McLean. Mitchell Butler, it is blocked. Blocked by Kemp. Good steal. Good hands inside by Aaron Sunderland. Bowen, he misses the stop. McLean clears it. Tyus Edney's running. Got Murray on the left side. Tracy's got it. Backs up the three-point range and scores. You've got to find him. You have got to find Tracy Murray. What a great game he's playing. Cal State Fullerton has never, never beaten UCLA. They are now down by two with 6.53 to play the ball game. Sunderland bounces it into Ward. Ward wants to turn on Zimmerman Camp. Takes a step, puts it up. He scores, and he's fouled. He is fouled by Edney. Good two-man game. A.G. Ward got the ball in the low post. Edney's fourth foul. Remember, he picked up three in 57 seconds in the first half. Two-man game, little head fake. Don't leave your feet. You're going to pay. And then an experienced play. Sunderland jumps in, creates the contact, keeps his composure, and sticks the jump shot. What a time to pick up your first basket of the second half. <laughs> Not bad. Edney with four personal fouls. Sean Williams for Cal State has four. He's got it. And Cal State Fullerton takes a one-point lead. There's a timeout of the court. 6.46 to play. Don't you dare go away. Customer service and satisfaction is our number one priority. We have the resources and the conviction to make this the finest Mercedes-Benz dealership in the world, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Our customers expect service that is nothing less than spectacular, and I'm here to see that we exceed their expectations. And as soon as we finish getting it worst, we'll have you on your way. Hello, I'm Fletcher Jones, Jr. Allen Tire knows trucks. Allen Tire knows cars. Allen Tire knows California mud and asphalt, back roads, and open highway. Which is why Allen Tire knows Kelly tires. He've got Kellys to fit every family car, sports car, pickup, or van on or off the road. Now you know too. Drop by Allen Tire in Fullerton at Target Center, 42401 North Dustin, Santa Ana. The wizard himself. Happy holidays, John Wooden. Paul, he was involved over the his career here at UCLA in a number of these kind of ball games. I used to sneak in just to watch practice when he was coaching here. Now yeah, there's a man that Cal State Fullerton would love to get on the court tonight. Yeah. Leon Wood, still the career leader at Cal State Fullerton single season point leader scored 719 points back in the 83 84 season gold medalist at the 84 Olympics you bet. played with Philadelphia first round draft choice spent some time with the Nets just had surgery on his foot and hopes to continue his professional career in Europe next year Butler Martin McLean Murray and Rodney Zimmerman for UCLA Butler's got the basketball wants to pound it inside to McLean but they're fronting and backing gone and it goes to Zimmerman. Out to Martin. He almost threw it away. There's a good defensive sequence by Fullerton. You take that shot. Let Mitchell Butler try to beat you. McLean or Murray never had the ball in a position where they could score. Cal State by one with 6.02 to play. Small to Bowen. Ooh, knocked away by Mitchell Butler. Showtime! Look out! Don't get lazy with the pass when Mitchell Butler's in the basketball game. You've got to hold him off. You've got to come to meet the ball. Zimmerman, and he knew it. 
A.G. Ward reaching for the bounce pass from Small. Zim reaching around. But boy, watch the play a moment ago by Mitchell Butler. This is just hard work and athletic ability. I wondered which dunk we were going to see, and we just saw the straightforward, very businesslike two-hander. No showboating here. Great inbounds pass to A.G. Ward. And Rodney Zimmerman picked up his second personal foul in the span of two seconds. For Zimmerman, that is his third. And that'll send Ward to the line to shoot a pair. I want to get back to what we talked about at the top of the game, encouraging Cal State Fullerton to play some zone. And when they finally went to the zone, really took UCLA out of what they wanted to do offensively and have made a game of this. Ward, not a particularly good free throw shooter. Cal State Fullerton now 10 of 15 from the free throw line. A.G. with 23 points in the ball game, his career high 26, established a year ago against New Mexico State, twice last year. He hit 25 against Butler and UC Irvine, the Anteaters. Now you see that, I guess you could call it Vaseline or goop on the chin. Less than a, two minutes gone in the ball game, he went skying for a rebound, came down on his chin and lacerated it. And we're tied at 67. And there's the time remaining. We've seen this zone almost the entire second half. And it has taken UCLA some extra effort to put points on the board. Murray's available. You've got to stay with him. Good run by Bowen not to leave your feet. Murray knows how high Bowen can sky. There's Derek Martin, three-point country. Shot won't go, and that's an example of how high Bowen can go. Ward up over Tyus. There's the mismatch, and he good. That's a big shot. Rebound by Bowen. A.G. Ward, 6'8", 245, running the court. Good catch. Realizes he's got the smaller man and scores it. Cal State by two with 436 remaining. Saturday night. The sports arena here in Los Angeles, a game with many of the same similarities we're seeing here tonight. Southern California upsetting fourth-ranked Ohio State. I think this would be even a bigger upset. Oh, no question. Yeah, U U USC, a solid basketball team, played very well. They have a superstar in Harold Miner. Ohio State may be a little bit overrated, but I don't think the Bruins are overrated at number two, and Fullerton give them everything they want. UCLA led at halftime by seven. Gonna swing it. Murray's in the corner. Murray for three. He knocks it down. He's got 26. Where would they be without him? Down by about 10. Small. He'll try an answer. Yes, he's got it. And the Titans will not. Points in the second half. Butler on the baseline. Tyus Edney bounces it there to Derek Martin. Now back to Tyus. Murray in the corner again. You get a little penetration. Mitchell Butler. He's got it. The last three three point shots have all been made. Inside it goes to Ward. He spins on Murray and scores. Boy, what a shot by A.G. Ward. He now has 28. That is a new career high for A.G. And boy, what a game to get a career high. Mitchell Butler and Tracy Murray drawing at each other a little bit here where they want to play in his own offense. But UCLA just keeps drilling threes. The Bruins are unconscious in the last three minutes. Taken away by Butler. Second big defensive play. There's a stop by UCLA. Can Fullerton return the favor and come up with a defensive stop? No. Tracy off the glass. It's now the Bruins by four. Tracy Murray has 28. This game's gone a long time without a timeout from Fullerton, and I think their staff got to be thinking about taking one.
talking to his assistant, should we take a timeout? Instead, here comes the turnover. Tyus Edney, Derek Martin, Mitchell Butler playing great defense. That's an important run and a six-point advantage by UCLA over Fullerton. Two minutes and 13 seconds to play in the ball game. UCLA, they were down by three. Now they are up by six. Lexus LS400 is equipped with a very sophisticated suspension system, which makes it seem like it's riding on rails, even when it's not. In a knucklehead can score. Who said that? You did. Oh, yeah. As I was saying, in a knucklehead can score. A rebound and takes brains. And wit. And good luck. And charm. And a nice haircut. And a warm heart. And big shoes. And a kind disposition. And a beautiful smile. And a certain savoir faire. Don't you agree? Most certainly. And a catchy slogan. And a nice logo. UCLA 80, Cal State Fullerton 74 with 2.13 to play. And remember to stay tuned following the conclusion of this exciting ball game. We invite you to join Larry Burnett and Alan Massengale for Press Box. Get a complete recap of the day in sports, NHL, NBA, college scores, highlights, features, and a lot more. Coming up on Press Box tonight, immediately following our ball game. Three-point field goals, Cal State Fullerton. Just two of seven. Look at UCLA. Eight of 17, and Murray is unconscious. Well, that's the difference in the game, plus a step up in the defensive commitment and effort by the Bruins. Six-point lead with just over two minutes to play. Derek Martin has 12. Go small with Martin right in his chest. Zimmerman couldn't stop Ward. Nobody's been able to keep the ball away, but Mitchell Butler at 6-5, denying him in the low post with the front. Jim Herrick up off the bench, saying, slow it down, run the clock off. Smart not one of the predictions. Yeah, but not one of the predictions we would have made. You think the Bruins would have had to worry about holding the ball a little bit at the end of this game. Yeah, good point. UCLA, a good free throw shooting team, 73%. This is very smart. Jim Herrick knows his team is not playing very well. They've worked hard. They've eked out a lead. Get the victory. Out to Mitchell Butler. He'll try and load it up. Good. Oh, just short. A minute 12 to play. Down by seven. Here come the Titans. Need three possessions. Got to have the three-point player, the three-point shot right here. Sunderland, it's short, picked up by Williams. The putback is good. Stop the clock while they retrieve the ball. 53 seconds to play. It's a five-point Bruin advantage. Letting him run all kinds of time. They got to foul somebody. Foul Edney right now. They got the ball in McLean's hands. He's missed one free throw all season long. I don't understand this. Foul Tyus Sidney right now. This game's over. Cannot imagine why John Sneed was not directing his players to foul the Bruins on the inbounds pass. Well, they finally get the clock stopped with 36 seconds to play. We've got a five-point UCLA game. We'll be right back with the conclusion after a word from Southwest Airlines. Southwest Airlines now offers non-stop service from LAX to Las Vegas. And if these six reasons don't convince you to fly Southwest Airlines to Las Vegas, maybe this one will. Fly Southwest Airlines and try our new service from LAX to Las Vegas. We have the lowest unrestricted fares to Las Vegas. What do you open the day after Christmas? 
thoroughbred racing at Santa Anita in spectacular winning colors. To celebrate Santa Anita's 55th opening day, you'll get another Santa Anita tradition. This brilliant 13-month wall calendar full of the beauty of Santa Anita. Yours free at Santa Anita Hollywood Park and Los Alamitos. You're a winner on opening day. Take home the winning colors of Santa Anita free this Thursday, the day after Christmas at Santa Anita Hollywood Park and Los Alamitos. Along with Paul Sunderland, I'm Phil Stone. 36 seconds to play here at Pauley Pavilion in Westwood. And what a wild one we have seen. UCLA on the strength of Tracy Murray down the stretch is up by five with 36 seconds left. Tracy Murray has made nine of his last 11 shots. Without that production, some of them, many of them threes, he would, UCLA would be in big trouble. He was one of seven to start the game. Now 10 of 18 overall. Edney to the line. Sunderland, one on one against Martin. He'll stop, put it up, and scores. Now you got to foul somebody on the inbounds pass. Foul Edney right now. That's good they, foul. They might get him for an intentional. Nope, one and one. 23 seconds to play. Now, Tyus Edney on the year had only been to the free throw line one time. It happened in their last outing against Loyola Marymount. He's 0 for 2 now. He's got a chance to hit the front one here. He's got a big free throw. Yeah, because that forces Fullerton to two possessions. If he misses that free throw, one trip down would tie it with a three-point shot. Well, the Titans certainly have nothing to hang their heads about in this ballgame. How in the world can this team be three and three? That's all. Mitchell Butler with a big play. McLean is fouled by Bruce Bowen. Number 25, Bruce Bowen. Final plane, shooting well, UCLA. Excuse me, I think he changed the signal. At first he said to the score one and one. Now he has called two shots. We're over the ten shot limit. It's, it's, That's it's what a it ten is. foul. Okay, I thought he was right. calling the intentional foul. One more, one more. Once you've got ten team fouls, it's an automatic two shots. McLean now six of six from the free throw line. On the night, Don with 20 points. Make it 21. Not a pretty 21, though. He could have had 35 as many good shots as he had at the beginning of this game. This is a clear out for Small. They were just going to run Joe Small one-on-one -on -one at Derek Martin and hope to get the three-point shot and maybe the foul on top of it. UCLA still not over the limit. Fullerton just going to go and take the ball out of bounds. That's really a smart foul. Let's UCLA set their defense, talk about what they want to do, not allow the three, don't foul. Ward over McLean. Oh, what a basket by A.G. Ward. He has had an NBA-like second half. Down to McLean. Oh, watch out. Yes. Well, it took a lot more effort than they ever thought it would, but UCLA has won their six. Jim Herrick telling John Sneed, you had a great game plan, partner, and you almost pulled it off. The so Jim Herrick watches his second-ranked Bruins of UCLA go to 6-0 while Cal State Fullerton drops to 3-4. and four. Back with some thoughts in a moment. They warned me. Buying a new car is a big financial responsibility. They said it would change my life. 